Good morning. Can you hear me? My little Zoom tells me to unmute myself. Hello, Spartan. All right. Got a few of you here this morning. Good. That's good. Did anybody get the text alert about uh, this morning's class, this morning's roundup? Let's say let's call it roundup for now. I don't I don't think we're gonna have much class time today. Mostly roundup. Fifteen minute reminder. Good. Did it did it happen to mention how to leave the text list? Good, good. Yes, it didn't go out yesterday, Millie, just today. Just today. Just wanted to do a little housekeeping. And uh, also let everyone know, <clears throat> excuse me, that our tech service has changed. I'll if you've already heard this, Bill, you can um, uh, la 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 for a minute. Uh, but here's the deal, the text service has, uh, it's Slick Text is the name of the, the, the company, but it has um, joined forces with all other text alert companies and they have a uh, some sort of regulation by the government which requires them to use certain uh, words for certain things. And in the past, when you texted the word stop to a text list, it would unsubscribe you from the specific text word you were subscribed to, not the number, not the phone number. It would subscribe, it would unsubscribe you from the text list that, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, that you were subscribed to under the number. Let me give you an example. It's, it's gonna be easier for me to say, Let's say this challenge is run under um, the text word Sparta, okay? It all, and then I've got, you've got my Jason, you've got Kim or Kimmy, I think it is, uh, um, and then you've got uh, Travis. They're all under 888831107. Y'all can't see that. All of these text words are under one number, but they're different lists. So if you're subscribed to my Jason and you're not subscribed to um, Kimmy or Travis or Sparta, the only way to get out of my, uh, uh, um, that's a bad way, let me rewind that. <laughs> let me take all that away. Let's say you're subscribed to all of these lists. You're in the Sparta group. You're in my group. You're in Kim's group. You're in Travis's group. And you just don't want to hear from Jason anymore. When you see a text from me that looks like that, and it's on Wednesday, Thursday, or Sunday, and it's, it's telling you to come to something that I'm doing, you're going to send the word end. End. That will take you out of my list. If you no longer want to hear from the Spartan uh, challenge anymore, as soon as, listen, you got to wait until you get a message from me to, to do this, okay? I typically put a smiley face on all of my texts, on all of my texts. I try to put my name on my text if it's my Jason text list. It will have my name in it. The Spartans probably won't have my name in it, but they'll have the smiley face on them. Now, if you want to leave all of the text list, you send the word stop. It will unsubscribe you from everything. The phone number, the, the names, uh, 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 the specific text list, all of it. And in doing that, you will be removed effectively from our text service and you will have to, we will not be able to put you back in. Once you, once you unsubscribe from the system, the only person that can put you back into the system 
is you. Um, now, if you want us to remove you from a text list, then we'll do that. I watch many videos. Sometimes I get confused. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Um, this is a, this is particularly hard for me to deal with because I don't know how many videos I've made telling people to to text stop to get out of a text list. Uh, it used to be to leave one person's list, you would say stop. And if you wanted out of every list, you would have to type stop all. Apparently industry says that's, that's too much. Stop takes you out of everything. In takes you out of individual lists. If you're in multiple text lists and you don't want to leave all of them, please make a note of this going forward. I hope you didn't feel like I just hijacked the Spartan group to tell you that. But in fact, you people are elite Shibola members. And in order for you to work well within the Shibboleth group, okay, work well within the Shibboleth family, you will need to be an expert in these things. You will need to be an expert in these things. Otherwise, there will be a lot of, of hand-holding that elitists typically do not want. Now, I want, I love to have my hand held when I do not know what I'm doing. But once I know what I'm doing, I like to have somebody like Julie or Joni or Patricia or somebody that I can say, hey, is this right? And I get a yes or a no or I ask Jason or I ask Travis or I ask somebody. But I, that, that, that is what I like, I, what I prefer once I become educated, okay? I want my hand held the whole time when I'm, not, when I'm not educated. Once I get educated, I want to have somebody to go to to mentor me or to give me, uh, to reassure me. So this is just, this is for all you elite folks to write, make this note, make it mentally, make it on paper, whatever, or you're going to be, I, I've, I'm already dealing with several members that are upset because they followed the instructions on a, on a video from the past that said to leave this text list, send stop after you receive this text. And I said it because that's the way it worked in the past. And now they're not getting any texts. And when they want us to add them back, we can't. You've got to add yourself back. So it's a pain in the tail. Remember, end to leave the text list that is specific. Stop to leave all Shibboleth text words at one time. This has been a public service announcement from your king, Jason. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to week two, day one. Some of you are not on week two. Some of you are just on day one. I had a holiday yesterday. Therefore, I am on day one. Not week two, week one, day one. Um, I enjoyed my holiday yesterday. We went to uh, Chattanooga and we were uh, shopping for stuff for the house, of course. Um, that's part of the, the pain of moving and uh, remodeling and all of that stuff is you get all new stuff and spend money you don't have. And um, anyway, uh, we, had, we went to our favorite pizza place and ate uh, the stuff that we love. The, we ate bruschetta and we had, uh, we, they have homemade uh, sauces and of course all of the, the dough and bread they make at our favorite pizza place is homemade. And we also had some donuts and we also had ice cream. We had it all yesterday. We got it all out of our system. And uh, of course we're gonna pay the price for it, but I will get it back off here in the next several days because that's what the Spartan Elite Challenge does, right? It's wonderful. Listen, I know a lot of us, right? A lot of us um, don't like to um, gain ground on our goal to lose it to our holiday. Um, one of the great things about this challenge, this Spartan Elite Challenge, if you do five perfect days on this challenge, you should be able to have one good blow it day. And within two perfect day or two challenge days of this Elite Challenge, that weight should be back off. That weight should be back off. So um, I know I, I have plenty of um, plenty of insulin running through my system now due to the fact that we had some bluebell ice cream and uh, or I had bluebell ice cream. My wife had uh, Mayfield ice cream. She was not happy with her Mayfield, not like I was with my bluebell. 
Um, and then um, we, those donuts yesterday uh, were definitely Fat Bus City. So uh, I, you know, just confessing, I, I'm not even sure that this is confessing a fault, but just confessing makes it a lot easier to, um, to deal with, right? Guilt, shame, and remorse always go with poor eating for me. Guilt, shame, and remorse always go with poor eating for me. Uh, that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy it. And that doesn't mean that it's wrong for me. It just means that there, there are, there are um, consequences to uh, eating outside of what is a, a good Shibboleth approved um, meal when uh, I'm on the journey to, to, to a goal weight that, that has nothing to do with weight gains. When I do something that counter that counteracts that that uh, that momentum I have, it makes me feel bad about about the decision. You know, it doesn't mean that it was a wrong decision. It just doesn't feel so good. So that's where the guilt and the remorse comes in. Not necessarily shame, but guilt and remorse. Let me um, also say this: I am studying currently uh, uh, to have a COVID talk. I'm studying currently to have a COVID talk, a SARS-CoV-2, AKA um, COVID-19 talk. You know, we've got um, all the data that, that, that there is out there on um, medication, on uh, vaccination, on prophylactics, on, 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 um, let's see, positive tests on um, mortality, all of those things, uh, per capita, uh, you, you name it. Uh, it's terrible. It's terrible. We have absolutely atrocious data uh, uh, that um, a, a, a country as powerful and as magnificent as ours, we should be able to uh, do things much more systematically and and easily. We should have a much more um, open dialogue when it comes to uh, these things. But I ran across a a a pretty good compilation of, of studies, data sets, if you will, about um, uh, mortality with COVID, and uh, there is a number one um, accelerant when it comes to mortality. Almost 50% of the COVID deaths, almost 50% of the COVID deaths had a um, premorbidity of obesity. It is the number one contributing factor to death by SARS-CoV-2, number one. Do y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? Guess what? We can all do something about that. The media is not telling you this. Why is the media not telling you this? Because there's this crazy culture we've got going on where it's not okay to talk about being obese. It's not okay to fat shame is what the media is going to put it in. It's what cancel, it's, this is just the time we live in. It's better to die. It is better to die than to, than to speak the truth. It is better to, to just kiss your loved ones goodbye, wave at them through a glass window because you can't go in there. It's better to do that than it is to talk uh, rationally about doing something about the, our nutrition, about eating better. And listen, I'm guilty. I am not in perfect health. I dare say many people I know are in perfect health when it comes to their relationship with nutrition, their body, and, and the way the world works. But I want to I wanna assure you, assure you that I am looking into these things and I am I'm asking God for boldness to where I can speak to these things because the truth is I would be a poor Spartan king if I, if I did not tell you that taking this body fat assessment at the beginning of this challenge should give you an indication. I'll bet it's not scientific. 
it, I'm not a doctor and neither is the Spoke website or the mechanism that is doing your body fat assessment. It is mathematical. It is practical to use. It is free. It is free. You may, you may ask all of your friends, Shaboth member or not, to go to the Shaboth website. They don't have to log in. The body fat assessment is there on the top of the website. They can take that anytime they want. All they need is a tape measure and a scale. It will tell you where you are in your body, in your health. If it says that you are obese, you are obese. You are obese. If it says you are overweight, you are overweight. You're overweight. You don't need me to tell you. You should know. I have been telling people for years, if you can take your fingers and you can reach down to your love handle area and pinch more than an inch, you probably are eating too much. If you can get a whole handful, you may be in the overweight section. If you cannot grab it because it, 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 it's too full, you may be in the obese section or morbidly obese. And listen, I'm not trying to shame anybody. I'm just trying to say there's a body fat assessment that we can do with our own two hands. And the good thing, the great thing about it is if I want to, if I want to give myself a better shot at living a healthy, happy, fulfilled life, I can do something about, I can do something about my body fat percentage. I can do something about it. I can start working on being healthy, get out of the the, the, the excessive morbid, uh, uh, obesity range into the obese range. Get out of the obese range into the overweight range. I can get into a, into a body weight that means I'm healthy. I want to tell you it doesn't matter how much skin you got left over. It matters about how much life you got left over. I want to tell you it doesn't matter about what you look like on the outside. It matters about how well your body works on the inside. Bless God. That is what it's about. You can clean up a sinner on the outside, but if he's still dirty on the inside, he's still dirty on the inside. We've got to learn to clean up ourselves. And, and I, I'm, like I said, I, there's studies to show this. I, I can't link to them now. I will. But I want everybody to get to a place to where we can talk about these things and not be ashamed to just talk about them. We, we don't, I mean, we can't be ashamed to just talk about it. Now, this right here, when I post this, this little spiel that I just said to you on YouTube, and I and and I and I said it to public, YouTube's gonna listen to every word I just said. And the only people that'll be able to see this video, more than likely, will be who? Because I said the word SARS CoV-2. Just because I said that. Okay. It's going to be hidden from people. So hopefully it won't mess up our web, our website. Because we're going to get it posted on our website. And the more I know about it, and the more I learn about it, the more I'm going to talk about it. And the more I talk about it, probably the, the, the worse off it'll be for me. But uh, it, it's not going to be bad for you guys. It won't be bad for you guys. It's going to be bad for it. It, it, it may be bad for me. It, hopefully it won't be bad for you. All right. Um, can we have a condiment condiment rule with the allowed combination? This is Patricia asking. Um, uh, honestly, Patricia, I, I'm okay with you having a condiment. Um, using the condiment rule, I believe this uh, is probably going to start. It will possibly factor in, but we're only eating two meals, so I don't think it should. It shouldn't hurt you too much. Um, however, um, I'm wondering. Can you be specific on, on how you want to manipulate your, the, are we just talking about doing, making a food combination and adding a condiment to it? Or how are we, how is your, frame your question a little different for me so I can give a, a better answer for everybody. Yeah, it's, it's something that, that, that I wanna look into. Let me, I've got a lot of questions going over here in the chat. Let me see if I can address some of them. Um, as well. Did I hear you say one serving of bread per day? Diane is asking, Diane, I assume you're, you're, you're asking about my class last night. Um, last night I gave four uh, personal tips. My top four tips for faster or fastest 
fat loss for myself. Um, I, I, I mentioned that cutting bread out of my um, out of my life when I want to lose weight faster, cutting bread out uh, to uh, making it a minimal thing. Emergency use, I believe I said emergency use. If I go in reverse, emergency use once a week or one time a day. So I would work my way to where that were that were the case. That's just for best best weight loss, faster weight loss. Ah, Patricia already got to that. Um. Julie gained a little bit with me. Kristen, did you gain any? Up, oh, yep. Kristen gained a little bit. Christy gained a little bit. Angela is, is saving her holidays for next week. Joey's got a question. Would it be good to do the supplemental protein all the time, even when not on the challenge? No, sir. No, sir. You'll be getting plenty of, of protein eating um, your Shibboleth approved uh, foods as they are. For instance, when you do a wow challenge, there's no need to add protein to that. It's already figured in. You have three meals properly portioned, properly combined. You should be just fine. Now we may, we may, uh, we may, we may have a discussion, brother, where iron sharpeneth iron, and you tell me some things that I don't know about what you're doing, and I tell you some things uh, that you don't know to help you do what you're doing better. But it, as a general rule, no, adding extra protein to your to your um, daily diet is not going to be a um, it's not going to expedite your fat loss you know, as a general rule. That a girl, Donna. Great, great post. I took action to start Shibola last year because of the relationship between obesity and COVID. Best decision ever. Absolutely. If you listen, if we listen, it's just like this. If you are setting, if, if you have fair skin, let me say this. If you have fair skin and you don't get out in the sunlight, there's a prophylactic thing. Uh, there is a preventative measure that you can do. It's called called uh, vitamin D, it's called vitamin D, okay? You may not be uh, deficient in vitamin D, but if you take a vitamin D supplement, which is what we get from the sunshine, it is known to have a preventative influence on COVID, okay? It's just like wearing a stinking mask outside. It's stupid, okay? The sun is the number one deterrent for this virus. Outside, the, it, you are good. You're good outside. Matter of fact, if you don't have a mask that is that is rated to to stop the COVID virus, um, and I'm, off the top of my head, I can't re remember the exact designation of it. But if you don't have a mask that that's that good, and you don't wear it properly, even that mask worn improperly is not going to stop COVID. Okay, it is a micro virus meaning it, it is so small that it will pass through something as if it is not there, if it's not designed to, to stop it. I, I mean, there's so many things that we should be doing in a prophylactic way. We should, we should all be taking something to keep from getting it instead of vaccinating ourselves against it when we do get it, okay? And, I, and I'm, our, we are all kinds of upside down in this country about the way we're doing this. I don't know how many times I heard Nancy Reagan say, just say no. To, to experiment to, to drugs, but it's certainly experimental ones. You should just be saying no, in my opinion. I'm gonna just say in my opinion. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna hush. Let me hush about that for a minute. I told you I'll get some better information. We'll go after it that way. Let's see where I'm at here. To figure out protein, is it our lean body weight divided by uh 60 grams of protein seems so high. Um, it is, it is, it's your lean body weight, okay? Your lean body weight divided in half um, should be just right. Mm. 
Let me just have a second. Yeah, I'm gonna look at my, I was looking at my body fat assessment. Becky, how tall are you? I'm glad you, you got on it, Donna. That's awesome. Julie says, been including my condiment in my calorie count. I'm not 100% sure that's necessary, Julie, but at, I'm sure that you're getting great results doing that. I almost want you to not do that. I want you to get your full, uh, if, you, if you're, well, if, unless you feel like you're getting plenty of food, unless you feel like you're getting plenty of food. So Patricia, you're talking about using fat-free cheese as your condiment. Well, that, that's gonna be a category one anyway. So we're, I'm not worried about that. Donna, Travis actually did the Zoom class on protein and kidney stones. And um, it's, that wasn't me, that was Travis. So that's another, that's kind of where some of the confusion comes in with text alerts because they're all coming in on the same number. So that, there's you another uh, elite a Spartan tip. Look for a smiley face with a plus sign for a nose and you'll know if it's me. All right, and oftentimes we don't, we don't um, um, differentiate in our text by saying our names of who's teaching the classes. So try to remember that if you will. Yeah, a lot of people are discovering from week one to week two, it seems like that weekend holidays are um, a deterrent, a detriment to our progress when it comes to uh, reaching our goals. Millie says only two meals on this challenge. Yes, there's going to be two eating episodes with a supplemental protein as your additional. Now you can eat a big pile of egg whites and call it a meal. It works. What I do, what I do, I put some hot sauce in it. Uh, and as Patricia says, mix a little fat-free cheese in it and it's good to go. Yes, yogurt alone is perfectly fine. Yes, Diane, you are correct. If you choose a wild WOW challenge, you do not add extra protein. WOW challenges are designed to, um, to be executed exactly as they are written. Now you can uh, leave something off, you can leave something off but we want you to eat them as specified in the specific wow challenge that you choose, okay? Yes, N95, that's right. Kristen is correct. If you are not wearing an N95 mask and wearing it correctly, it is 100% ineffective at deterring you from uh, contracting the virus. If the virus is in the air and you breathe it, Okay, it's going to go through your cloth mask, your, the mask you made, the mask your mama made, your Aunt Lena made, the mask you bought at the, the, the store, the little, the, even the little uh, blue and white mask that you buy in bulk, right through there, just like that. And Rosalie is a nurse. She's probably going to uh, amen me all over the place with that. Healthcare workers are fitted and taught how to put on and take off the N95. That is correct. You know you like me. I don't know. I hope that was me. I, I hope you like me. Hard to be your mentor. You don't like me. I mean, when I, when you get in somebody's uh, tail and they don't like you, they, they leave you and never talk to you again. <laughs> all right, all right. Can I use a premier protein shake with oats for supplemental protein, Jen says. Um, I'm not familiar with that. Protein uh, shake, probably not. It's probably got a ton of carbs in it. I don't know that it does. Um, I would want to see it. 
send me a um, nutrition picture of that so I can grade it, um, please. I would I would probably stick with the 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 regular Premier Protein for the challenge to get that supplemental protein. Okay. Okay, Lee, get to work. No hot sauce for Millie. Did your body fat assessment twice last week because it seemed so high? Um, two premier proteins would be 60 grams of protein. I think they're maybe eight ounces, maybe 10 ounces. I'm not sure. You may not put half of it in a cup of coffee if you like creamy coffee. That'll help you get it, get it in. Oh, you're in a great, <laughs> but we don't ever wear N95 at work unless directly in contact with the coat. Christy is, a, is also a nurse and she is um, um, Latin. There is your, there's a, a great testimony from a, from a nurse that is telling you, telling people not to wear uh, that, that she is not being told by her hospital where to wear the N95 all the time, only when she's in contact with people that have COVID. Okay, if I was wearing a mask to prevent myself from getting COVID and I didn't know who was wearing, who in the population had COVID, I would only wear a mask that was effective at getting me, uh, that was protecting me from COVID. Otherwise, I would feel like I was looking like the Lone Ranger. Well, not the Lone Ranger, but I don't know. Somebody from the purge wearing a mask. I, I'm not like I only get 188 per meal. <laughs> Prepare for Millie, you can do some wild challenges. It, it'll work out. We can use the Fairlife Protein Drink 20. That's yes. Yes, absolutely, uh, Julie. I've already gone over that. <laughs> okay, don't get cranky on him. Just let him go out and do some yard work. Tell him, say, it's time to get out there. Tell Lenny to get out in the yard. I think I've covered all that. All right, so before we go, I, I knew I'd have some, some good conversation today. And uh, I, I also wanted to, I don't know, the that conversation earlier, it feels premature. I apologize. Quest shake, okay? It is okay. I am almost positive that it is. It is okay. Um, I got one too many. It's supplement time. Last week we talked about um, having our supplement time at Roundup in the morning. I'm still um, executing my Corplex. Still got plenty in my in this container. I will more than likely switch to Vitamins Plus Pro next after this. I find it uh, to be very uh, much more effective on my the way I feel uh, when I switch from the Vitamins Plus Pro uh, and the Apple Corplex uh, and or the MS Delta, which is what I take when I uh, am taking the uh, metabolic nutrition system formula from Avocare. Uh, let's get these supplements in. Shibola, Becky. I've actually been taking Vitamins Plus Pro for, I don't know, maybe seven years, seven years consistently. So that went 16.9 ounces of water. My tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons of ACB. Oh, yeah, last week I'm going to have to get a new bottle. That's how you know you're getting it in. Got one at home, one at work. And the supplements will run out if you take them consistently, right? You won't have that, that, that bottle of vitamins that you keep. And you're like, I, how is it that I never run out of vitamins? It's because you're not taking them. It's because you're not taking them. When you have that. 
bottle of vitamins that never runs out, it's because you're, you're not taking them. So remember, supplements are only good when you take them consistently. Miss one day a week, effective. Miss two days a week, probably not as effective as, as you want to believe they are. Three days a week, you might as well not purchase them, okay? Take your supplements consistently and you will have great uh, results. Is it okay for me to just do bone broth today with my protein supplements to try to get my weight to gain down? Um, Chrissy, you, you're, you're very active and um, I, I would tend to um, be a little more worried about you uh, having uh, lows than somebody that's not that's somebody that's sedentary and that just wanted to have a day of fasting where uh, that that was the case. If, uh, if you start to feel puny, then I want you to eat something. Uh, but yeah, it's it's perfectly fine if you wanted to do uh, the bone broth as your meals. Um, you would be in compliance with the uh, calorie restriction for sure. Um, just make sure that you're keeping your protein in if at all possible. Okay, if at all possible because we want to preserve that lean tissue as we lose weight, as we get our weight loss going, okay? Um, that's it. Eat something solid if you fill off uh, or, or, or if you need something with your um, supplements. You know, a lot of us have been talking about needing some solid food with our supplements. Okay, so uh, any other uh, comments, concerns, or... Um, Anything you want to want to bring to the table? Uh, let's see. I don't see Barbie with me today. Shanda's here. Um, how are our prayer requests going, Shanda? You want to check in today for me, please? If you're if you're able, can you type? Anybody else got prayer requests? You want to uh, throw in the in the uh, chat, let's get that done real quick. And we're gonna have our uh, roundup wrap up prayer and we'll get our, our first Spartan day in. Needing prayer still? Okay, y'all got that? I knew I needed that. Shanna's got something happening at three today. Y'all wanna set an alarm or something? Uh, let's just keep her and um, her prayer request lifted up. So we can, uh, it's three central time. We can keep um, um, that in front of the Lord. Dealing with get my parents into assisted living this week. Bless your heart, Becky. We'll definitely keep you in, in our uh, prayers. Cousin four-year-old was diagnosed with leukemia. Bless the Lord. Hmm. Lots to pray about. Lots to pray about. We're gonna pray for Millie and Lenny. Not being silly, we're really gonna pray for them. All right, Gina, awesome. You can pray for me and my my little wife too, because we are we're doing this thing. We're we are moving uh, our our families, and uh, it's going to be um, yeah. There is lots going on. Let's just let's just remember one another. But these specific prayer requests are important. Okay, these spe specific prayer requests are important. Deb, I'll keep you in my prayers, dear. All right, let's have our prayer uh, together. 